Beloved, we are here again. I welcome you again to the school of the knowledge of God. In fact, that is what you needed, not church. In fact, if you even will need a church, you should know what a church is. The word church comes from the word ecclesia. But that is not what is going on. The church in the whole world is, has nothing to do with ecclesia. What is the meaning of ecclesia? Somebody will want to know. The word ecclesia is the Greek word that stands to mean senate or parliament or a government agency. This is what the word church is supposed to be. Now look around. All the churches you see, do they have any qualities as to the definition I've given you? The answer you will say is no. Why? They have lost their bearing. Why? Religion has taken over the whole show. When Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against my church. No wonder the churches of this world, the gate of hell has prevailed against it already. Look at the kind of things that are happening even in the church. It's even worse than the world. And that is what shows that it is not the true church. The true church is supposed to be either a parliament or a senate or a government agency. What do I mean by that? It's supposed to be talking about governance. Why? Jesus himself brought a governor. He brought a government. Before he even came, close to eight to 900 years, the prophet Isaiah was instructed by God to pre-inform the world that the Messiah you all are waiting for will carry a government on his shoulder. My goodness. So God did that. Yes! Go ahead and check it in the Bible. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. The man carried a government from where? Heaven. To where? The earth. 2,024 years today. Accurate date. The question is, why did he carry a government? Because the biggest need of human beings on planet earth is a good governance or a government. No wonder every year governments are being voted into power and governments are being voted out of power. As I talk to you, Ghana is preparing to vote next year or end of this year or whatever. Why? They are changing government with the hope that they will get a good government. But I can assure you, no human being can put the kind of government human beings want. Why? Human beings are liable to corruption mismanagement polluted agendas human beings that's what they have you are thinking you are voting government you are voting people who have made their mind already what they will come and do that is why the justice said they create loot and share i didn't say it the justice of the supreme court said it that these people you are voting for create loot and share why? God knows we can never get the right government. That's why God sent a government through his Messiah. And that is what the church should have been preaching. The church should have been a government agency because they are both, Jesus Christ, brought governance or governance or government. So they should be agents of government. Shipping agent. Why? Those agents are dealing with the things the ship carry. So if Jesus carried a government, then his agency, that is the church, should be dealing with governance. But do you hear governance in the church? No. Now, if he brought a government, that he means he needs a country. Because no government can exist without a country. And if he got a country, then definitely he needs citizens. Because a country and a government are useless unless they have citizens. So these are the three main pillars. Of Jesus' mission on earth. It's not about heaven. It's never about heaven. I'm not saying heaven is not there. And I'm not saying people will not go to heaven. But the reason why he came, he himself said it. That I must preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to many and other nations also. Why? This is why I was sent. And that is the mission we are carrying. But in that mission, we needed to have more knowledge. Because God says that. Job, do you know the laws that govern the heavens? And can you set my dominion and earth? 
Which means God was telling Job that I have put in, I've put in some mysteries in the heavenly bodies. And for that matter, if you don't know those mysteries of the heavenly bodies, you cannot implement my will on earth. That is why in the beginning, in Genesis chapter 1, God said he created two great lights. One, the greatest light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And these bodies of the heavens are the months that mark seasons on earth. Seasons like what? The second, the minute, the hour, the week, the day, the month, and the years. And their influences, whether we know, whether we like, whether we want or not, they will influence our life either negatively or positively. So for that matter, this year, the Lord made me learn some knowledge about numerology. And I have been teaching numerology until now. Now we have started learning the numbers and their mysteries according to numerology. We have looked at the mysteries of the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, the number five, the number six. And now we are going to look at the mysteries behind the number seven. Why are we interested in that? Because each human being has a number. How do you get your number? We are talking about your number of the day of your birth. You are born on the 12th of a month. That means your number is 1 plus 2 that makes the 12th and your number will be 3. We have talked about it already. You can go onto the internet and search for the number 3. And then you will know the mysteries behind it. And if you don't get some clarity in it, just call our number 055-459-8076 and I will respond to you myself. I'm not those men of God who you need to call and talk to somebody to talk to somebody before you talk to me. No, you can talk to me direct. Because we talk to God direct, don't we? So who are you, a human being? Today we are going to look at the number seven. And I have a document with me. Those of you who are following the teaching, you need to order the soft copy wherever you are on planet Earth so that when we send it to you, you can print it out and study. It's not just listening. You must do your own study to verify whether what I'm teaching you is the truth or is falsehood. Because we are not dealing with falsehood church activity. We are dealing with the truth as a dominion gathering people and as the office of the prophet. It's the office of the prophet that formed the dominion group. And the office of the prophet is where I work. I'm a servant in the office of the prophet to the nations. So you can call me Peter. Where I come from, they call me a Peter. <laughs> you see, you can call me Peter. I'm okay. You don't need to add any title for me because Jesus has no title. We call Jesus Jesus. We don't call him Mr. Jesus Self. And I'll respond to you. You can WhatsApp me your question or your views on that same number that I gave, 055-459-8076, and other two numbers that we have. You can send a WhatsApp message and it will reach up to me. Today we are looking at the mysteries behind the number seven. As in numerology. Of course, numerology is of God because the whole Bible has one book full of numbers. That is numerology. The word numerology was built from the word number. Number, num, numerical, numerology. Okay, just as we have astrology. Numerology and astrology work together because they are the mysteries that govern the heavens. Then God asked Job, do you know those mysteries that govern the heavens? Can you set my dominion on earth? Job 38, 33. You can check it there. So today we are looking at the number seven. What does it say? The document says, if you, if your birthday falls on the seventh, the sixteenth, or the 25th, then that day of the man, you are a number seven person. I repeat, if your birthday falls on the seventh, the 16th, the 25th day of the man, you are a number seven person. This number is governed by the planet Nimtu. 
Neptune. That's a planet. That's one of the heavenly bodies. In fact, NASA has discovered so far 500 billion planets, heavenly bodies. And they said they are still getting more. I wonder whether they will get it finished. Because where they are dealing with is eternity. Nothing ends. The heavenlies don't end. Though. That's why you watch. In fact, when you sit down to watch a film about the heavens, eh, you don't want to leave. You will see that God is so wealthy. Hey, God, in fact, he has so much things. Oh. We are just hanging in this earth. One of the planets, the earth. And we are just thinking that we are the everything. Hey. Even this our earth, look at how magma, fire, balls will be melting from the ground and coming out. You don't even know who was cooking there and that thing started. Whether God is cooking food there and his charcoal is coming out, we don't even know. And it is a whole mystery that man has been learning for years. You share qualities with the number two person, number two person, who are governed by the moon. You see, the Neptune and the moon have similar influences over two numbers, the number seven and the number two. That is what the document is trying to say. You possess strong sense of individuality. Those who are born on the seventh, they, those who are the seventh number, yes, they are born on the sixth, uh, on the seventh, on the sixteenth, and on the twenty-fifth. They are number seven people, and they have individuality. That means they like to do things separately. Always, min kuminya, min kuminya subayano. Okay, here I'm here number seven for. Yes, in number seven or any number two, no, I'm here subayambiya ese adenti. The moon has some similar, but uh, some similar influence with the Neptune's uh, uh, heavenly body. Now, you can who did say Neptune? No, I sent you for any idea in Neptune. Cry me name. Originality and independency. You see, and I'm saying we are number seven into no our individuality. Originality and independence. Just say, Adibia, we are no unquiet me yet. Now see, eh? We are wild nipple. In this, oh, bow, I won't know. Can it date? So I am number seven. Ta, we are here. There be a bone say, on unquarani to our now ten or naughty or no quan. Or to meet now, and so a grown out moody no can be, but what ten on separate. We meet media grown us and I or my be consulting now be sending some be now I'm more answer no more to us no audio separate identity or your number seven nipper either say you won on the seventh or on the sixteenth or on the twenty fifth and the number seven nipper no ni ni ya na ya kamu asem no or your very very individualistic and an independent and originality or your very original just as any nipper no on pe adi ya a tro tro. Come see, come sir. Eh? Ubisana Sam now I can't ne or china ubisana now I can be be different. And then we are broa na we are a cockra. A cockra now to me be sana say, Udi den na or see me di docono. Udi den na or see me dear mo on in nipano. I then I been a week. Very, very weak. In fact, more mujin sa my nyino munyo munye. Because an enemy who old man be hundred years. Judge Bisano said, What if you say, was say, I just got hundred years. Judge, you cried in the book, in the document, too, from Anna, or Bonisa. Anna caught it in your own, yeah, Bonisa. Because hundred years, or Jinaho, or Casa correct. You say, Wow. Oh, I mean, me stop here and I mean, bump, I mean, say, Eradi, me, Mr. Frucono, I saw a hundred no call. Yes. Because me here no said the bear a juman I me and a becoso hundred years Papa no casa and a judge in the bisan say and tonight juman was saying my coffers where was second where hey just a audacious feat and a judge in say and I'm say a juman why am I American no we born in a why are our traffic no media chow. Hundred years in the court. Mubi no mo fifty sixty years. Kwa unti mi ninety. Ah. Now who who did he who did he say who did he dead do ani dead do ani na who did he? Oh mi yari e. Why na ma o yari e? 
Nyame am bo nipa bi ama ne yare bi o. Men kasa me yare e. Come on the yare out. O yare e, o nipa dwa na e hospital. Hospital no mo de yare e ko. Obi ntimi fa yare bi me ma o. Refuse it and reject it. Nobody is supposed to be having sickness in their body. It's they who allowed it. If you refuse sickness, sickness will also refuse you. Yes. So number seven person now seven na air canon. Breaking free from traditional norms. Oh, number seven nipano. Was it sad nipano? A dia ya sa mamra. Oh no, be break it through on pe on yet. Number seven persons always break the traditional norms. They don't want to be what everybody is doing. And hey, you can see my life. I don't want what everybody is doing. Number seven person. They have a unique life of breaking traditional norms. They don't allow what everybody. That is the kind of people number seven people are. Restrictions do not resonate with you. Number seven person, ultimate restriction. They don't allow that. That is their subai. Ultimate restriction. Ultimate case, they be men yes. Omo 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 ma. Omo ya number seven. Omo check omo here. Say I won on the seventh, on the sixteenth, and on the twenty fifth. Uba usa sa subai ya yekana. E wo numu. Whether or your bar or your bema o the number no no. Your behavior often remains a mystery to others and you may be perceived as an absent minded at times was e oniye eye nipa nwanwa eye nipa nwanwa omo hwe omo dwe ho a omo ntiasi i can think for omo dwe ho a omo ntibi think for people do not understand you that is the number 7 person and people always think you are outside minded. You remain in a mystery to others. The bia o eni pastor nko bia eni pa binu dwen ho say ah atsa ni pa idea. You are a mystery. May you indeed be a mystery. Amen. Because we need mysteries to solve the problems of this world. Number 7 people are knowledgeable and analytically Capable of understanding the cause and effect in various situations. Hey! They are highly knowledgeable and analytic. They analyze things. Oh, I love to work with number seven people. I pray that God, you will bring me more of number seven people. People that will be knowledgeable. People that will be analytic in everything that they do. They will not just take things just like that. If you tell them something, they will get the understanding, they will analyze it, and they will get a result out of it. When I came in, I heard somebody talking to you, and he was asking questions. The knowledge you have acquired, what have you done with it? You want to change the world. Have you changed your community? Very challenging question. God bless you, Shaman. When I entered, that's what I heard. You want to change the world. Have you changed your community? Have you changed your family? That is the question that we must ask ourselves. Because charity, they say, number seven person. They are capable of understanding the cause and effects of various situations. They, they really have that understanding. They can know what is the problem and they can fetch out the solution. Number seven people are powerful. That's why they always say seven is a perfect number. You see? This is where it came from. Seven people are very, very strong and very, very powerful people. You are willing to make personal sacrifices to pursue what you believe is right. Wow. Number seven people, they will make personal sacrifices to chase or pursue anything that is right. I wish our politicians would be number seven people. I wish. Because if they are, we will benefit from them. But if they are not, they will never pursue what is right. They see right like this, oh, and they'll be doing the wrong thing. That's what I don't like about politicians. They'll come and say things. Even what they have said that people are accusing them, they cannot even apologize. 
They behave as if they have not heard the criticisms. And they know what the people are criticizing is the truth. They said it. Politicians learn to talk some truth to. Because a day is coming, you will beg to talk the truth. They will say it's over. They don't want to hear it again. Because you pay for it, politicians. If we speak the truth like number seven behavior, they will personally sacrifice to pursue what they believe is the right thing. Adventure is part of your nature and you are open to exploring new and exotic places. Even if they are far from home, you see, that's one character of the seven people. They like to explore new things. They like to go to your head. So be too quiet or you're ready to do that. Be too quiet finifia echi chichi kra. Your intuitive nature may also make you prone to deja vu. That's a French word, huh? Deja vu experiences. That is your intuitive nature. That means ni eki ka umono etimi biya kwa ma u pesa u nya experience from kubi no mo. Prayer and imagination. Number seven for Mpaba Esa Mo Bonono. And I will banoy number seven Mpaba Esa Mo Bonono. The word is Lord and your law. L O R D, not L O R E. The first prayer. Lord, let the knowledge and the analytical capabilities to resolve difficult issues be manifested for your needs and ours. Because one of Usuba as number seven air ability to resolve matters and to bomb Pierce Erade massa capabilities here a woman mu I'm here number seven no etimi Kenya na yentimi nya wo pe eni yensu ya pe eni pa pe air then aswinge e ye die eni ahuto eni pa ya problem ni na no no and to number seven nipa this is who you are this is the mystery behind those that were born on the seventh on the 16th and on the 25th numerologically they are the number seventh person and these are the qualities around their lives this is the influence of the heavens you see that the moon and neptune as heavenly bodies are the ones that influence this number seven persons and I pray that you will take your time to follow the teachings and do your own study to analyze and to see whether it is true. And then send us your reaction, send us your comment and your questions. As well as we want to send this knowledge all over the world. And we will need your assistance in any other way. You might be in another country. You think you can assist to bring us in. We are ready for you. you, we, are, you we welcome you. Maybe you have the financial ability, the connections, the power. You have people that can sponsor. Please go ahead so that your country will also be impacted with this knowledge. We are available. We are missionaries that are ready to impact the truth to God's human beings. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So we have the right to impact God's property, which is the earth and the fullness, which is the human beings and everything. So brother, you can also send us your money. You can send us your equipment. People have sent us some equipment. They have been useful. Some we are about to prepare and use them. And anything you send, if we don't use it, we can sell it and use the money for the work. The number you want to contact us is 055-459-8076. Remember the name you must see in is Peter Anamo. Anamo is A-N-A-M-O-H. Anamo is A-N-A-M-O-H. So that you can be sure that the money you are sending or the support will come to us share this video to as many people as possible and keep yourself available because we will be bringing you more as time goes on anybody that is listening and you are in accra or you are in ghana you can come to meet the real meeting and even have personal consultation free of charge with the prophet on saturdays and sundays 9 a.m we are here at the hall i'm currently speaking from the hall the lord richly bless you bye-bye